Sinandali Estate, Museum, Garden and Vineyards, held by the Chavchevadze princely family since 1690, saw a true revival during Prince Alexander's reign. Sinandali flourished, becoming a gateway for European culture and traditions, fostering music and poetry. It turned into a must-see destination for everyone visiting Georgia. From Duma to Pushkin, Sinandali Estate has seen notable guests from all over the world. The history of European classical music in Georgia also started in Sinandali, and the first ever grand piano in Georgia is still on display at the museum. Prince Alexander, founder of Georgian Romanticism and a military figure, was active in many fields of public life. He is remembered as a publisher reinventing the printing business in Georgia and as the founder of modern Georgian winemaking, being the first to bottle Georgian wine and the first to age it in oak. His older daughter Nino was married to the Russian playwright and diplomat Alexander Griboyedov, and his second child, Ekaterina, became the last queen of Mingrelia. Even though it was almost completely ruined during the Shamil's assault in the mid-19th century, the estate was rebuilt and renovated to its former glory shortly thereafter, and it continued to serve as a cultural landmark throughout its history. Since 2007, Tsinandali Estate has been under the patronage of the Silk Road Group, a company with a diverse portfolio of activities. George Ramishvili and his friend and business partner, Yerkin Tatishev, decided to rehabilitate the unkept and abandoned historic complex to its former glory and to elevate it to a luxury tourist destination and cultural educational centre of international importance. The decision came upon them while visiting the estate in the fall of 2006, which still carried its charm and historic appeal. From 2007 until now, Silk Road Group has rehabilitated Prince Alexander's estate and turned it into the most visited museum in Georgia. Under the supervision of Professor Ludwig Trausertel, it has restored the authentic appearance of the Tsinandali Park, the first English landscape garden in the country. It has restored the famous Tsinandali vineyards and winery, updating it with luxury state-of-the-art equipment. In 2016, Tsinandali estate celebrated Prince Alexander's 230th birthday, with a diverse range of wines, continuing the estate's tradition of coexistence between classical European and traditional quavery winemaking. The Silk Road Group has also built the new 141-room Sinandali Estate Radisson Collection Hotel, adorning the site with the work of German light and interior designer Ingo Maurer, New York-based architect John Fatiadis, Spanish-Mexican interior designers Christian Gabas and Damien Figueras, as well as much-beloved Georgian artist and sculptor Tamara Kvesitadze. The infrastructure embraces two restaurants, a Vinotech wine tasting bar, a spa, an outdoor infinity pool, conference and meeting rooms, and other facilities. An amphitheater and theater, fitting up to 1,200 and 600 guests respectively, also form part of the hotel complex. The project has been implemented with the support of the Partnership Fund, a state-owned investment institution. In recent years, Tinandali Estate has regularly hosted exhibitions, concerts, literary events and masterclasses. Among them, exhibitions by various prominent Georgian and foreign artists, including Salvador Dali, Pablo Picasso, Piet Mondrian, David Kakabadze and many more. Performances of classical music by Gidon Kremer and Kremerata Baltica, Lisa Batiashvili, Khatia Buniatishvili, Joshua Bell, Sara Alice Ott, Eliso Virsaladze, Quartet Diduro, Philip Quint, and many others. On the 14th of September 2017, together with the legendary maestro Zubin Mehta, Khatia Buniatishvili, and the Israeli Philharmonic Orchestra inaugurated the new amphitheatre with a magnificent performance to the delight of the Georgian audience and international guests. If I describe it as being wonderful, I'm, I can't exaggerate. But it was a fantastic public, and they love it from the beginning. Even the first modern piece they liked very much. Yeah. Yeah. So I was very happy to be here. Thank you so much.
This is one of the most beautiful special places on the earth and one of the great beginning festivals that we can have in Central Europe. Nandali is a magical new place for musical adventure in Georgia and the best place for the wine. Sinandali is an amazing project about music, about youth, because there are so many young musicians around here. It's about peace, it's about sending a message and sharing all together this music and love. One of the best artists in the world here, in the same place, in the same time. Great, great experience in this new, wonderful chamber music hall. It's just gorgeous. And what's, uh, what's better than making music in such a gorgeous place? Sinandali is amazing. Sinandali is quite magical. It's magic, the place. Sinandali is magical. Sinandali is fantastic. Oh, I love it. It's so relaxing, amazing. I feel really good here. It's incredible, so just come here as soon as you can. Sinandali is like, I would never expect it to be so beautiful, so much nature, great people, uh, such a like warm welcome, and like, I mean the atmosphere is just magical here. Like, the audience is wonderful here, so, you know, enthusiastic and so warm. I hope I didn't disappoint them too much, because, uh, you know, I hope so, yeah, Tsinandali is a wonderful place and the people are fantastic and I am sad that I'm leaving tonight. But will you come back? I hope so. It has been a lot of fun, a lot of uh, nice evenings with all artists which are top, top, top. I'm here the first time and uh, congratulations on this wonderful festival that you have here. How beautiful it is, it's really amazing. The first time I've ever <laughs> had a cake on stage, it was, it was really beautiful. I cannot find the right words to express how I'm delighted to be here. I love it. I love it. I'm so amazed by the talent of Georgian young kids, by the variety of the talent. It inspires me to work with them, inspires me to bring them on stage. And I'm so proud that we are here and we're making music together. The goal is to create a pan-Caucasian youth orchestra, composed of young talent from countries that don't always get along. Armenia, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, to name a few, and build unity through music. This is not political at all. We decided to call it Pan-Caucasian Orchestra because we think it makes sense. First of all, there is no analogy in this part of the world, and also Caucasia. We are also Caucasian, you know, there's many, many, uh, let's say, misunderstandings and uh, in the historically and even nowadays. And I think this is a kind of good message to everyone to give chance to young, uh, young talents to become a friend. And uh, if our generations or before generation could not manage this, you know, maybe they can do this. The idea of building a pan-Caucasian orchestra was key in convincing some of the world's most prestigious names in classical music to get involved. Music, which is a really universal language, uh, doesn't need uh, uh, any kind of translation, can really make people from countries uh, that are not uh, completely friendly <laughs> between them, but just to try to, to talk through the music and that also uh, try to establish a relationship between them. I think that we'll have a big social impact in this area. My duty here is just to take all this huge energy and just try to convey all this energy, try to really put all the effort and all the talent these young 
people have just to make music. In a way, I'm doing my job. I am a, a conductor, but in some moment I am also a teacher. So how to combine these two things, uh, I think is uh, very fascinating for me in this uh, situation. To many of the young musicians here, some are in their 20s, others in their teens, this is the first taste of playing in an orchestra, being away from home and living in close quarters with diverse cultures. Yes, I am a alternative jazz. I am a the the two-week festival presents a unique opportunity that the musicians may never have scored elsewhere on their own. In their native countries, there often simply isn't a strong classical music scene. By the end of the festival, many a career may well take off. But as though the task weren't difficult enough, Maestro Gian Andrea Nozeda chose to make a statement and kick off with Gustav Mahler's Titanic Second Symphony. First of all, I think Mahler is much, much difficult than any composer to play for orchestra. Everything what is after Mahler, I'm not saying that it's less difficult, but it's mentally much easier because you already did such a big thing. It's an amazing experience because a lot of people, they would never play Mahler here. I don't think in Georgia they ever made Mahler, <laughs> you know. I don't think in Azerbaijan they make it so often, or in Armenia, or even in Ukraine they don't play Mahler. Yes, so, I mean, for all countries, for all kinds of people, young, a bit older, I mean, 20-something, and who already work in orchestra or had orchestra experience, it's huge work, huge experience, and huge opportunity to, you know, for us musicians to talk. The vision of Tinandali is ambitious, a new musical tradition in the Caucasus and to build a world-class orchestra. But it is this ambition and message of friendship that distinguishes it from any counterpart and safeguards its future success. I don't like the word exportable. We are not, uh, I mean, despite that everybody wants to talk to us about the music industry, we don't see ourselves as industrialists, but what we are doing here is definitely unique. I mean, you can have an orchestra in the United States that will be musicians from, you know, Alaska, Missouri, uh, upstate New York, but it won't carry the same message and won't create the same special feeling to see a musician from Turkey sitting next to a musician from Armenia shows that people, after all, are brothers and harmony is something that can be achieved and music is definitely one of the major tools to, to make it happen. For Monocle in Georgia, I'm Melkon Chachoglian.